Ladies and gentlemen, we've finally done it. There's a new crate in Rocket League. You might be wondering why on earth I have 700 here. I've got 100 to open in today's video, but when the channel reaches 900,000 subscribers, we are so, so close, by the way, I'll be opening 900 crates like I've been doing for 600,000, 700,000, 800,000, and there'll be 600 of the new Golden Gift 21s and 300 of the newest Golden Lanterns. I'll be opening them hopefully live on Twitch, so go and follow me, twitch.tv slash pickapixel, and subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army if you haven't already, but it's finally here. A brand new crate in Rocket League. If I remember correctly, the items in this crate are the Zephyr crate, the Elevation crate, and another crate I can't remember. <laughs> but two of the three series that make up this crate contain a mainframe. So we finally have another crate, another gift that has painted mainframes in it. And as you know, golden gifts for me are the luckiest when it comes to painted mainframes. And you can trade up the items you get in these crates. So today in this video, I'm going to open 100 of them and then trade up everything. All in preparation, of course, to then do the massive 900 crate opening, which is going to take me hours. <laughs> so here we go. The first new golden crate gift pack, whatever you want to call it, in nearly a year to finish off 2021 with a bang. What's it going to be? Come on, baby. Oh, it's so bright. I can hardly tell what's what. A rare ouchy banner. Okay, it's in orange. Not too bad, but we'll move on. It's fine. We're just chilling. We're just vibing. I mean, the last time a golden gift came out, the channel had about half a million subscribers. So, okay, that's that's 100% orange success rate. So, it's it's crazy how far we've come since then. I wish there was some way to turn down the brightness on this. There probably is in the settings. Three out of three painted, though. That's pretty damn good. And yes, I'm wearing an Arsenal shirt. Uh, it's an exotic. I know that much. Is it painted? Is it orange? It's orange again. Oh my gosh. Three out of four. Orange exotics rare and rare wheels. Was it? Oh, that's crazy. That's outrageous. Oh my. If we get a black market now, surely it's going to be orange. It's because orange is my favorite color. And also speaking of colors. I thought that was titanium white then, but it was the warp wave that baited me out like on top of the sides. Uh, there, I thought it was white, but it's the warp wave we've got on. But also, not to mention, at 900k, the white apex wheels you see there are going to get given away. But yes, I'm wearing an Arsenal shirt. At the time of recording, uh, they're due to play Leeds in about half an hour. So I'm going to record this, and then hopefully we watch Arsenal get a win. And also, as well as subscriber milestones, my football channel, the full 90, is at nearly 20,000 subscribers, which is insane. So all in all, loads of milestones, super happy, and so glad to have a brand new crate right before... Oh, look at that. I thought it was painted titanium white then. That looks great. But I am so glad that the new golden gift came out before we hit 900,000 subscribers because I wouldn't want to open 900 golden lanterns. I do not mind opening the 300 that I've got left because obviously I got them. I always knew I was going to open them at some point. But then for the first time in maybe a year, I want to say. Oh, a nice little edge burst. There. That looks really, really sick, actually. How clean is that, by the way? Just as a car, the whole preset. Um, I can't remember where I was going with that. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, first time in probably over a year where I will have zero crates in my inventory because I've been working through these golden lanterns here and there on and off uh, in preparation, making videos and stuff. But after this big 900,000 event, which would happen a year exactly after the 600,000 subscriber event, Oh, it's just crazy. And we're getting so, we're getting so, so close to a million. We're going to be in the final stretch, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot thank you all enough. Here we have another exotic. It's painted Cobalt Neoyos. Okay. I don't mind the painted exotics. I'm going to trade them all up because I've seen all these before, of course. So exotics are great. Paint or no paint. I want to see if we can maybe be lucky enough to get a black market in these remaining 85 crates. Um because obviously that would be great. And then we can do the trade-ups and get hopefully a guaranteed black market. We've had... Uh, maybe one import, just the Sentinel, I think. And then we have the two exotics. So we really, at the moment, we're, we're definitely on course to have enough for a black market. We haven't even opened 20 crates. And uh, we're well over 40% of the way there to getting a black market. So you will see a Golden Gift 21 black market in this video. Might be one of the first few in the game. Obviously, I'm recording this a few days before. This Golden Gift crate has only been out in the game at the time of recording for two days. So the fact that we've managed to obtain nearly a thousand of them uh, is pretty mental. And it just shows the power of community efforts because every one player, individual player, can only get five. And that's by playing a lot of Rocket League. But basically, the majority of these golden gifts you see here will be hundreds of players first golden gift for getting their first one and then trading it away i'd imagine yeah surely 90 percent or something of these golden gifts that i have here would have to have been people's first golden gift of the event because i haven't even got a golden gift of the uh, of the event 
Also, speaking of event, want to shout out, massive shout out to Hercules. If you don't know who she is, she's a really great streamer over on Twitch. She invited me to take part in the uh, the sort of winter invitational that they did. There was uh, basically teams of three, an upper bracket best of five and a lower bracket best of three snow day. It was one content creator, one pro and one WCBC player. And oh my goodness, what, what an exciting tournament it was. 16 teams, top three got a cash prize. It was myself, Azara and Forky. And we had an amazing run. We went all the way through the upper bracket to the semi-finals and just lost out in the semi-finals. We were 2-1 up in the best of three, lost 3-2. Went down to the lower bracket quarterfinals, won that. And then we're 1-0 up in the best of three semi-finals and we lost that in the lower bracket. So we came fourth. We were the team that got the furthest and played the most games that didn't win a cash prize. I just thought it would have been really cool to finish at least third, get a cash prize. Then when someone says you have no earnings, I can be like, ah, look at look at Rocket League Liquipedia or whatever it's called. Pick a pixel has got Rocket League tournament earnings. But unfortunately, we were fourth place. There were some exceptional teams in that tournament. And uh, oh, that's pretty sick. I like that. But I was just so happy to be a part of that. I think today I'm going to go back onto her stream on the VOD and just watch through my the, the games that we played on stream because obviously I didn't watch the stream because I was playing. But they were cut. It was cast professionally, and the guys casting it were absolutely brilliant. It's just an amazing event. So yeah, if you want to, you can check out the whole event, the whole stream for yourself over on Hercules's Twitch. If you just want to watch back uh, my games with the casting, feel free to do so. But I, I'm pretty sure that's a big pull. I'm pretty sure one of the casters were like was like bigging me up, saying because obviously. I'm not a pro. I'm not one of the better players in the tournament by any stretch of the imagination. They were saying, you know, they're really surprised by my performance and they thought I played really well. And I mean, we knocked out Violent Panda in the first round and extra from BDS in the second round. So the, the competition was fierce and it was just a great time. So massive shout out for the invite for that. It was awesome. But I mean, another crazy thing is this is going to be, I think the last video I record in this house right now. I've got four other videos already made because th they were made. I planned to make them before this one, basically, because I had to get the golden gifts. So the, up until the 24th, Christmas Eve, I'll have videos made from this house. But this is the last one I'm recording because all the other ones up until Christmas Eve today have already been uploaded. I just need to do the thumbnails and stuff. So this is the last video I record in this house. Then hopefully Christmas Day and going forward, I'll be in the new house because at the time of recording, it's so confusing. But Sunday the 19th, so yesterday for you, I think, I should have made the move. So in theory, now that I think about it, which is crazy, by the time you're watching this video, I'll be in my new house, which is absolutely mental. And, I, and again, I cannot stress enough something I could not have done without your guys' love, support and everything like that over the last year, especially. It's been monumental. So thank you so much for the support. Again, I've just been reading through loads of comments on the colorblind glasses video I did in particular. They're very, very heartwarming. I know I'm not wearing them right now, but they do give you a bit of a headache if you wear them for long, long periods of time. So thank you so much for the support. You're, you are the reason I get to do my dream job every day. And I absolutely, I'm just... I'm so thankful. I'm so, you know, it's, it's Christmas. You see family and everything. And although there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world, it's the time of year where you can, I personally can sit back and be really, really thankful for everything you guys have provided me. So thank you so much. I hope to continue entertaining you. Uh, you can get pink inverted in a crate. Didn't know. I've never seen that. I've, have we? No, you can't get special edition crates. I think we've had that. It's just been so long. But thank you so much for the support. I'm going to open down to 650. Then for the final 50, we'll do best items only. So any cool imports, every exotic, I suppose every painted exotic, which all of them have been painted so far, I think, and every black market. Hopefully we can get one. If not, we'll trade up to at least one, hopefully two black markets with the following trade ups after. And then the next golden gift you'll see from me. I mean, I'll go from... Oh, yes! Keep that! Get that! Keep it! Keep it forever! Hopefully, I mean, I've gone straight to 100 golden gifts and then to 600. Normally, I go 25, 50, 100 and work our way up. But we're starting big. We've got a massive highlight there. That is huge, man. And I'll see you in the next highlight very soon, hopefully. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't tell that that was a black market because of how bright the screen is now. I thought that was a very rare... Oh my gosh, the first black market we've got. It's painted. It's a mainframe. And of course, it's orange. I knew it would be orange. Everything, everything. It was written in the stars to be orange. We had the first three painted items in the first four crates. Three of them were orange. And we get the black market we're looking for in orange. 
That's massive. Oh my goodness. Seven crates in. We've absolutely smashed it. I can tell the Golden Gift 21 is going to be sick. Like I said, I couldn't tell that was a black market because of how it's orange again. It's just an orange kind of day. So there you go. <laughs> it's an exotic. Come on. It's a black raging wheel. Not bad again. We're definitely going to get... I want to say maybe two more black markets at least. And that's if we don't get another one in the crates. I mean, the only thing we can do to beat the one we got is basically just get a white mainframe in this crate. Which is, it's very unlikely for this stream, for this video. But when I, I say stream, because when we open 600 of these, we've got a six times more likely chance to get a painted mainframe than we have today. And today we nailed it. So I'm very excited. I really am. And then, of course, we've got trade-ups and everything. It's going to be sick. Getting a lot of imports, I have to say. A few painted ones. We've got a Burnt Sienna Sentinel, I think it was. But there we go. We're getting very close to the end now. No other black market in the final 50. But, I mean, that painted mainframe was outrageous. It's the first time I've seen a painted or a black market glow with this new sort of bright, wintry, frosty fest filter. So I don't know what I was expecting, and I couldn't tell at first. But the mainframe popped up, and... Oh my goodness, it was insane. What I'm going to do, I think I'll open these final four crates, show you what we get, and then I'll do all the trade-ups all the way up into imports, and then I'll show you the import to exotic in case we get some cool painted exotics like the titanium white reactors, which were also insane, and then we'll do the exotic to black market trade-ups, which I theorize they'll probably, it's most likely there'll be two, maybe three if we're very lucky. I highly doubt it'll be only one. So I'm excited. I think it'll probably be two. That's the most likely one. But let's open this last one, and then I'll see you when we get to the best bits of the trade-ups. This one's not good, so yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> and go and follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash pickapixel if you want to see these opened live. There we go. 900 crates right there. All 2021, baby. This just in... You cannot trade up the Golden Gift 21 items. That's so strange and so random. That means I'm going to open 600 Golden Gifts and have all of them in my inventory. If we go to inventory here, we go to most recent. There's Golden Gift 21 series here, but you can't trade any of them up. I'm stuck with everything in here. Just when I thought the trade-ups allowed me to completely declutter my inventory... We have all this stuff now. I mean, this does make the, the painted mainframe cool, the Golden Gift 21 series, because you know it came from a crate. Same with the titanium white reactors. But that is very, very shocking. I have no reason. I, I see no reason as to why you can't trade these up like you would in any other crate, like Golden Gift series. It's the first golden something series where you can't trade up the items. I have no idea why that would be. We got five all painted exotics. Maybe that's a trade-off. You can only get painted exotics. Maybe we're really lucky. I don't know. Maybe you can only get painted black markets. And that's the trade-off. Very possible because we had six exotics or black markets in this video and they were all painted. So maybe I'm just really lucky or maybe I don't know. But no trade-ups. So I guess we keep it all. And that's that. Wow. I mean, I'm glad now we got a black market because I like to guarantee black markets in crate openings. But this one had to be in a crate and we got it. So there we go. That is a... Big surprise. I have no idea who made that decision or why. Why is the key thing. Why make that decision? But it is what it is. Please do drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. I've been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.